I literally just come out of the shower and my hair's decided to just poke me in the eyeball. <laughs> I'm thirsty. Yep, that was gonna happen. Aha. It really tastes like cherry and it's not cherry cola. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is AJ also known as the Chaos Gremlin. If you are new, hello, welcome to my channel where I post erratic content at a, at a erratic space and time because that's what I do. Okay, as you know, the official trailer to Thor Love and Thunder came out a couple of days ago and I decided to react to it because I didn't react to the first snippet trailer, the teaser trailer that we got to Love and Thunder, so I thought I'll actually react to the actual trailer this time. So, yes! So I'm just going to give my quick thoughts just pre-hand, I promise it won't be like a long few minutes. But I'm, I am excited to see Thor again, I'm excited to see his journey and how much he's changed from Endgame because obviously Endgame was a big step for his uh, mental health. So I'm excited to see that. I'm not excited to see uh, uh, Lady Thor. I don't know why. I don't know why I know why. I hate the character Jane. She's one of the worst characters out of um the Thor movies I also find her love interest her as a love interest very boring um I don't feel like she's got really any personality traits to her character if there are people out there that actually enjoy her then good for you but personally I think she's written really badly okay Natalie Portman she's an okay actor she's done really she's done some really good roles like the her role in Brother or Brothers I can't remember with her um Toby Maguire and Jake Gyllenhaal she was really good in that um but she can't act but i just don't think she can act as this character and act in this role so i am very conflicted of what's going to be happening within this trailer and within the movie itself being seen with having seen thor and then lady thor so because there are a lot of conspiracy theories going around that lady thor is going to be replacing thor so i don't know i don't know so let's get into it i'm excited though all right if my laptop wants to, like, buddy, listen to me. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's really loud. Kids, get to popcorn now. Let me tell you the story Korg. of the space viking, Thor Odinson. He was no ordinary man. He was a god. After saving planet Earth for the 500th time, Thor set off on a new journey. <laughs> well, he got in shape. He went from dead bod of God bod. and after all that he reclaimed his title as the one and only Thor oh spit too soon Jane what the old ex-girlfriend what's it been like three four years <laughs> eight years seven months and six days give or take my, uh, sensing feelings. <laughs> well, you're right. <laughs> the only ones who gods care about is themselves. Ooh. So this is my vow. All gods will die. Say that was very, very impressive what you did back there. It's just my first bad guy. You never forget your first. That was Zeus. Who you are, and take off your disguise and flip. Oh, you flip too hard, damn it! <laughs> Shall we help them? Yeah, eventually, grape. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, 
I'm going to start off with the visuals first. The visuals were brilliant, as always. MCU visuals are always brilliant just because of the technology that they have. They do, they always manage to encompass the beauty and the little things visually, which I always really enjoy seeing different, seeing what they can make with different things. Uh, the CGI looks really, really good. I'm so happy that we get to see some of the Greek gods. I'm so happy that we, oh, we are getting to see more gods in general, you know. Having seen the Norse gods in previous movies, then being able to see the Egyptian gods in Moon Knight, and now seeing the Greek gods. Yay! That's really, really good. That's, I'm really, really enjoying it. These are all the type of gods that I love. I love the Norse mythology, I love the uh, Greek mythology, and I love the Egyptian mytholo mythology. I grew up on, on all of that shit when I was a kid, so I'm so happy we're seeing more of that. More of that. Um, and different cultures. That's really, really good. Um, Thor looks bloody hilarious. He looks brilliant. Um, you can definitely you can definitely tell that Chris is just really enjoying his role as Thor in general. Because um, Thor movie, the first Thor movie was was all right. It was a very average MCU movie. A lot of people don't like the Thor two, um, uh, the Dark World. I thoroughly enjoy it because I love the back and forth between him and Loki. But a lot of people don't generally enjoy the movie. Then that's perfectly fine. Obviously, you got Ragnarok and uh infinity war and endgame and a lot of people prefer thor's character in those last three things you can definitely tell that the writers and the directors are like right this is what the audience likes so we're going to give them more of this version of thor and they've obviously given that obviously that's also because of taka wafidi i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right <laughs> but he's a brilliant director and he's a brilliant actor he was in ragnarok as well uh, as directing it, I believe. I think I can't remember. No, I don't think he was in it, but I know I know he did direct it. Was he in it? I can't remember if he was in it or not. I don't know. Anyways, uh, you can definitely tell his is staple on how he directs this type of stuff. It is very obvious with it with the dialogue and the directing and like the shots and everything. So it's it's all there. It looks good. It looks like it's gonna be a fun, enjoyable, laughable movie it might have some seriousness in it which i really do hope so um i don't like lady jane i really don't i didn't like her in the comics from what i from what i have seen of her and i didn't like even um thor when he was turned into a woman by his own brother so i don't know i'm not a big fan of it uh it just feels weird Especially since they are, they were a couple, you know, it, yeah, I don't know, I don't know why. And, and the whole, and the whole thing about how she's suddenly Lady Thor as well. And they, I mean, obviously I'm going to, obviously I expect some exposition on, in the movie on how Jane became Lady Thor and, and got the, the powers of, of Thunder and stuff. Um, but I don't know how they're gonna make it make sense you know the only way for it to make sense in the tv show loki was to make uh, lady loki or sylvie a variant and even then they really screwed that up so i'm not sure how they're gonna deal with this when we actually watch the movie and, and hear the exposition and hear the story on how jane became lady jane i mean lady thor <laughs> so i don't know i don't like the look of her she looks so cgi um I heard that she did work out for her muscles, but at the same time they look too brushed over, which I don't like. Her hair looks really, really weird. Um, so I don't know, but hopefully I'm gonna enjoy the movie because Thor, and I love Thor. I love him so much. It is gonna be weird to have a Thor movie without Loki, uh, because I remember a lot of people complaining many years ago when they were considering of doing Ragnarok and stuff the major thing was that you can't have a Thor movie without Loki because they are brothers and they are so dependent on each other storyline wise so it is, it is, it is going to be interesting to see how this movie goes without Loki uh, being a uh, sort of a back and forth with Thor so that is going to be interesting to watch I hope I enjoy it I'm, gonna de I'm definitely going to miss Loki being in the movie but no, I'm excited for it. You know, besides the whole Lady Thor thing and Jane becoming the new Thor, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm not, I know I'm gonna enjoy this because it is so similar to Ragnarok and I fucking love Ragnarok, Ragnarok so yeah.
<laughs> I think that's it. Please comment down below your thoughts on the trailer, your thoughts on uh, Lady Jane, Lady Jane, I did that again, on Lady Thor and Jane herself. If you like Jane, that's perfectly fine. I don't have anything against you, so please don't have anything against me for not liking her. Um, but yeah, comment down below your thoughts, uh, like the video, and if you are new, please subscribe and push the notifications as well because you never know when I'm going to post. So thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and bye.